hi out there. Um, my name is Sabrina Walker Hernandez, and I am the president and CEO of Supporting World Hope. So again, my name is Sabrina, and I am the president and CEO of Supporting World Hope. And every Thursday, I go live um, with a recap of my blog summary. So this Thursday, I wrote about five free online virtual um, fundraising platforms because um, when I talk to my nonprofit brothers and sisters out there about their number one challenge, they always say it is fundraising, right? And so this has been even more compounded by the pandemic. So it can be difficult to figure out how to fundraise when you can't leave the house. So COVID-19 has forced us to figure out how to fundraise while social distancing. And so a lot of people are turning to online fundraising, um, such as peer-to-peer -peer giving or online auctions. And so below in my um, blog post, I have five um, online platforms that nonprofits can, uh, you know, use to spread their virtual wings. So let's talk about a few of them. Well, I'm gonna talk about all of them, but if you want the links to them, you would have to go to my uh, blog post. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is GiveButter. Now GiveButter, um, this platform allows you to incorporate a donate button, a peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, uh, they have peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, uh, event ticketing, and fundraising pages. And it is free. Um, you read the the you know read the details of it, but it is free. Um, but you can't waive the credit card fees and things like that. And that's going to be for all of these. So give butter, and you, you can um like I said, if you go to the blog, you can link to give butter to to so you can do a comparison. The other one I, I have is uh, Give Lively. Now Give Lively, this platform allows you to do a little bit more. You can do campaign pages, you can do donation uh, widgets to go onto your um, your website, text to donate, which is what I particularly like about this one. You can do event um, ticketing, live display. So let's say um, for the live displays, if you are doing an if you have an event and you want a meter going so people can see how much is being raised or and things like that. You can actually do this one with Give Lively. And they also have peer-to-peer -peer fundraising and you, they also have small token give in honor of uh, platform that, that you can do. And it also integrates with uh, Salesforce. So this one is pretty good and they have a, a pledge uh, of forever free for these services. So they're saying they made a pledge that these services are going to be forever free. Now they have some other services that you can upgrade to, but the ones that I just mentioned will be forever free. And then you have Kindness, and Kindness, um, this platform um, has its own uh, donor CRM, and I, I know a lot of people are looking for donor CRMs. This Kindness has that, and it's also you can set up a universal donation page with Kindness, and you can integrate. Um, your CRM, your existing CRM with Kindness. So if you're using Boomerang or you're using Salesforce or anything like that, they integrate. Um, you can also set up reoccurring donations with them and they have peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. And then you have 32 Auction. Now 32 Auction on this platform, you can have up to 20 auction items and they are, there's no charge to it. And each of those 20 auction items can have an image of, of the auction item. And it also, it has a display for the uh, fundraising goal meter. So if you have like a $10,000 goal and people are bidding on things, you can let them know where you're at towards your goals to kind of increase bidding to get people to really support support it to support your online auction and you can share the link out to um, anyone and they'll be able to bid and you can even have a custom link so you can customize your link based on your organization or based on the theme of your event and so I think that's pretty cool too and that's free and they have some other features that are free um, with their platform but of course there are some upgrades that you can do if you choose to that you will pay for now a lot of people um, in the groups I hear about, uh, they're having a lot of challenges getting uh, local businesses to donate to their auction, 
which is understandable because we've been in the middle of this pandemic and the ones that's been affected the most have been local businesses. And so they might not be as, um, they, they might um, not be able to be as generous as they previously were, was. So how do you get your auction items um, for this online auction? Well, one of the things that I looked at was um, uh, one of the platforms that I wanna bring to your attention because it's a no risk platform pretty much is charity fundraising. Now they offer um, autograph mem memorabilia, some vacation packets, and I know right now with those vacation packets, they're good for up to two years because we, nobody knows what's going to be happening in this pandemic. And that's that's really a good thing that they're going to be good for at least two years. Um, they also have some other items, maybe like um, autograph uh, guitars by certain band members and things like that. But basically how that happens is it's, um, it's on consignment. So it's really no risk to you. You do have to ensure that so let's say if it's five hundred dollars right so you get the bid to five hundred dollars the organization gets anything above the five hundred dollars so you get you pay them after after afterwards so basically you have to have a minimum bid on each of your each of your items and so um that's just another fundraising tool um you can have like a board member um, that you know is interested in an item place the minimum bid or you can put the minimum bid as the starting bid and go from there. But those are little like auction tricks that you can do. But the fact that you can still do a live auction and have these those quality live auctions at no risk is a good thing. And so those are the actual five uh, free online virtual um, fundraising platforms that I wrote about uh, this week. So again, I encourage you to read the full blog because Within the blog itself, it has links to all of these um, these sites. And again, it's Give Butter, Give Butter, Give Lively, Kindest, 32 Auction, and then you have Charity Fundraising. Now, these are not these are not the only things that are that are out there. You can do research and find some find more. Um, but these are the ones that I recommend. And then around the charity fundraising, there are other sites out there as well um, that work on a consignment basis. So um, you can you can research that. But I have actually worked with charity fundraising before, um, and so I feel really comfortable um, speaking and and saying, hey, this is where you can get your auction items for from, and this really is no risk. And so again, I am encouraging you uh, to read the blog um, so you can have access to the links. Um, and then you can actually go and you can research and see which platform works better for your nonprofit. Um, again, I like Give Lively. Um, it is one that I've set up for an um, organization that I am involved with, but you just can't set it up, in other words. So with Give Lively, you have to make sure that your organization is listed on GuideStar. It's pretty easy to get listed on GuideStar. You go to GuideStar, GuideStar.org. You can find out if you're already listed by putting in your EIN number uh, or your IRS determination. That's on your IRS determination letterhead and see if your organization is already listed. And if you're not listed, you can request to be listed. You have to provide all the documentation um, that is needed. Um, and then once you get GuideStar approved, then you can go back in and you can um, go through the Give Lively process. Um, so they have done their due diligence and um, you're actually joining them as a member of, of Give Lively. And so I really encourage you to kind of look at that and see what you want to do um, because, uh, again, the number one challenge you say is fundraising. And with this pandemic, um, I'm sure it has continued to be a challenge and even more so of a challenge. And so what I would like to do is if you are watching um, this in replay um, if you could just let us know where you're you're watching from. If you're watching it on YouTube, I ask that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I come on every Thursday um, and do a blog summary. I post my blogs, so if you like to read, you can read the blog. And if you don't have time to read, um, like a lot of nonprofit professionals, they're wearing multiple hats. Um, I come on and I do these summaries. And if you you hear something that you want to um, have more detail on, then you can go into the actual blog 
and you can read it. You can find the actual blog on www.supportingworldhope.com um, to read um, any of the blogs that I've written in the past and to read this current blog. So I encourage you to uh, do that. And um, again, I am Sabrina. And if you're watching from YouTube, I ask you to subscribe to the channel. If you're watching from Facebook, I ask that you please put a put a little comment. Let me know that you like the article or you like the summary. Um, tell me what you want to hear more about. And I also invite you to join my um, Facebook group. It's Nonprofit Professionals Professionals with an S Exchange. Um, so again, I am Sabrina, and I thank you so much um, for having. Uh, for having, I was going to say for having me here tonight, it is not tonight. Let's start with that. And also, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is I thank you for listening to my uh, live and for tuning in with me on Thursdays to listen to these lives. Or if you tune in on, on YouTube, I thank you for doing that as well. Um, don't forget that tonight every Thursday at 6 p.m. I go live in my Facebook group where I offer a uh, free live Q&A coaching and so I'm wearing my Boys and Girls Club of Edinburgh t-shirt if you are a nonprofit and you want me to wear your t-shirt while I'm doing my lives or my coaching just send me a t-shirt you know you can find my address on my website again it's supportingworldhope.com and I will happily sport your t-shirt so thank y'all and y'all be blessed.